is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing a Oklahoma City Thunder 3 P rebuild challenge before we get into it let's try to set a like goal of 200 likes again today and of course if you're one of those people that are, aren't subscribed you need to change that right now we're trying to reach 9,000 subscribers as soon as possible we're like less than 300 away so if you have not subscribed make sure to do that right now anyways guys the last time we did this rebuild challenge I did it with the Celtics and I failed miserably didn't even win one championship but last time i started and start today but this time we're going to start from a fresh season that way i can make moves in the very first season to give myself a little bit more time so i'm excited because the thunder already have a pretty decent team honestly i just need to make a few trades and i think we might be able to win a championship this first season honestly with what with what we got so i'm gonna keep chris paul because he ends up being really good this first season and then i guess maybe down the stretch if he goes down and overall we can trade him but for right now he's actually a really good leader to have on our team to go after championship yet he hasn't won one obviously but still want to keep him around so uh, i think what i'm gonna do to start this video off is i want to keep the three guards that we have like chris paul shea and dennis schroeder i think that's a three-headed monster we want to keep around but everybody else i kind of want to just like see what we can get for him so i'm gonna move roberson to small forward i don't know when this guy's gonna play basketball again but i swear he hasn't been on the court in like two years but we're gonna offer uh audrey roberson and uh maybe uh let's say isaiah roby i guess and see what uh pops up I'll take anything at this point because Robertson's really not even playing in real life. So it really doesn't matter what we get. Like Josh Richardson off the bench or in GR3. That's already a very good first trade. But let's keep looking just in case. Reggie Jackson. We don't need a backup point guard though. Duncan Robinson. I like that a lot. Let's keep looking. Jabari Parker. Uh, Jalen Brunson. Dwight Powell. I'm kind of looking for depth because that's kind of what we need. Because the Thunder's bench is a little bit weak in here. But we have... All right. Some of these trades are actually pretty good. So we could get Norman Powell get favors off the bench for us will barton and jordan mccray i like this trade a lot actually honestly i might get will barton and jordan mccray that gives us two nice little players to have let's see if i can uh try to squeeze uh or try not to trade a first round pick for these guys and they want muscala and my unprotected and they want to give me jeremy grant as well uh no I, i'd rather keep my unprotected for something different i guess we'll just go back to the original trade and we'll go ahead and do it i i guess it's a miami pick and plus we have plenty of first round picks whatever we'll do it so just like that we got will barton and uh for our who was the other guy i forgot already it was jordan mccray that's right okay so we have will barton can start at small forward for, for us our small forward spot was kind of weak i think they've been starting dorts there i believe which he's done actually a pretty good job for them in real life uh, but let's keep looking so we got will barton gallinari i still want to trade steven adams i don't want him to be my center for the video so let's go steven adams and our first or something like that and see what this could get me hopefully something good uh we get eric bledsoe marcus more senior reggie jackson Bonte graham rozier i kind of want to center and return for him blake griffin sergi bach and og and anobi covington eric gordon andrew wiggs uh i kind of like this trade Sergi Baca, we can bring Sergi Baca back to Oklahoma City. He could play the power forward for us. Uh, or we could play him at the three. It really doesn't matter. Or the center, I should say, not the three. I don't want to trade two first, though. You know what I mean? So let's see if we can give up. Uh, let's say, I don't know. Give up. Instead of that, let's say we gave you Neuros Noel, maybe. And uh, they don't want. They, might, they want two unprotecteds, man. That's so much. Everybody's asking for my first round picks. I don't like it. All right, let's offer two seconds. And I'll also offer you uh, like another player or something. Let's say Abel Nader as well. And you can't do it. All right. What if we offered uh, Nerlens, no, Mike Muscala, and you give me your worst player and Mike Malcolm Miller? Yes. Okay. So we didn't have to trade it first there. Awesome. So now we got Sergi Baca at power forward for us. Uh, he's back in OKC now. He goes up to an 84. So just like that, Chris Paul, Schroeder, uh, Shea, Jordan McRae, Will Barton, OG Nanobi. And uh, Sergi Baca Gallinari. We need a center though. I knew we needed a center. So what I'm going to do is offer Gallinari. And I think I'm going to also offer Darius Basley if he's still here. Yes, he is. All right. Let's see if we get a good center out of this. Uh, Jabari Parker, Willie Colley Stein, uh, Hachimura, Yan. Uh, none of these are that great, honestly. We need. I want to go for like a swing big kind of center. Well, could we get Drummond? I don't know if we can get Drummond, but I think he'd be nice to have. So let's go offer Gallinari. And uh, they're not going to do it straight up, of course. And we'll also offer Basley. And, okay, I think we're going to get this deal done. We have so many firsts we can trade. I'll trade you a Clippers pick. I'll also trade you uh, a Rockets pick. And they're still not doing it. Okay, I'll also offer a couple of seconds. Hopefully this gets it done. 
and no they're not doing it. okay what if we offered like another young player let's say Hamdou Diallo is he got good he's the two-star value think we might be able to get this done come on baby nope all right I'll offer one more first round pick for Drummond and this is kind of silly but and they agree so we get Drummond so now we look at our team we got Chris Paul, Shea, OG Ananobi, Serge Ibaka, Andre Drummond, Dennis Schroeder off the bench, Will Barton, Jordan McRae, and Terrence Ferguson. So not bad. I think the only thing I really want to do is probably make this last spot a little bit better. If we can get a backup big, that would be great. So I'm going to go ahead and offer Terrence Ferguson and uh, let's say Deontay Burton and hopefully like just a little bit of a backup. Alec Burks, that's already a good deal, but we don't need that. We need a center. Marcus Moore Sr., uh damian jones i don't want to have to give up uh what did they want they wanted uh jordan mccray i don't want to, have to give him up because he's part of my bench right now markeith morris michael carter williams mcconnell okay some of these are good alec burks does make a lot of sense i like the idea of marcus Morris senior but they want a little too much so i guess we'll get damian jones to be our backup center and scott labis here they'll be there as well so just like that this should be our team for season number one is it a championship team just yet i'm not sure but it's already looking better than it was before so uh, the depth is there i like it a lot we're gonna go ahead and simulate this first season and see if we can win a championship in season number one number one has come to an end and lebron james ends up being the most valuable player john morant is your rookie of the year Husev nurkic is your six man Kawhi defensive player and jamal murray is your most improved averaging 25 points per game awesome stuff for him nick nurse is your coach of the year we went 60 and 22 so this first season went very well for us i'm so glad i decided not to start and start today because this made things a lot easier for us so we are the third seed in the west this is going to be tough though because Kawhi and paul george and got lebron ad so this is probably gonna be the hardest season to get this challenge done like to at least win one but we'll go look at the stats see how that turned out so we had 21 from dennis schroeder 20 and a half from chris paul 18 and 17 from Andre drummond uh 14 from Serge Ibaka, 13 off the bench for will barton and then shea had 13 and a half and uh five assists so not bad at all shea's shot tendency must be down quite a bit or else i think he'd probably be out there and averaging points as well because i'm pretty sure shea is actually leading the thunder in points per game in real life so can we beat the denver nuggets in the first round this is our first test in order to see if we can win a championship we're up 2-0 on the nuggets can we beat them nope 3-1 please yes and this is gonna be tough if we get to the second round this is our first very tough matchup we get to play the los angeles clippers so yeah this is gonna be tough really 2k there's an update now come on man all right so i'll have to get rid of that here in a second but similarly current round against the los angeles clippers and we're down 3-0 yep yeah. yeah i knew it was gonna be tough this first season because of how good the la teams were but man that really sucks so let's see who wins the championship and then i'm gonna get rid of this stupid update thing and then uh we'll go in the off season and i might try to go for anthony davis i don't know if i'm be able to get him but we're gonna try and uh looks like the clippers are gonna win the championship in season number one. First step to the off season is very crucial because we had to make sure we have the best staff possible in order to win some championships so i'm seeing greg popovich down here billy donovan did a great job but and he's doing a good job in real life don't get me wrong but i see greg popovich down here and i'm gonna offer him the most amount of money that i can it looks like i can't offer him anymore that kind of sucks do i get him yes we get greg popovich that's gonna be great for us gonna help us a lot in this challenge and i don't think we're gonna be able to get like anybody that good uh as far as assist assistants are concerned man we are actually screwed on that aren't we uh no okay so yeah i don't think i get a single assistant i don't really have any money because i just threw all my money at greg popovich okay uh that is not good at all can we can i get anyone no trent peterson you want to come here yes we got trent peterson for one year okay and then i'll get a head scout and we'll sign him all right let's go to the draft and uh we got the 26th overall pick and uh, the 20th pick from the nuggets as well so we want to use this to our advantage if we can i think what i want to do is how much cap space am i about to have not much i'm sure yeah because uh i was going to try to sign anthony davis but i'm sure i'm not gonna have that much oh i actually might have quite a bit can i get rid of will barton here because i think i want to keep dennis schroeder and i don't know if anthony davis would even come here he probably wouldn't but we're gonna try anyway uh let's say what if we just want to trade will barton for like uh you know just a first round pick or something let's see carol Savert, monte morris and we give them a first no thanks i'm not doing that is that collins uh, that frees us up some money and we get a first round pick out of it i guess i'll do this is that collins is a young player so that's going to give us a little bit of cap space and then for the draft let's go offer the 20th 26 and zach collins josh richardson uh i just want to i was just curious what's out here mike conley 
There's some good offers actually. Monte Morris, Daniel House. Uh, this Mike Conley trade was decent, but he's been terrible in the Jazz, man. He's been up and down this season for him. But I'm just gonna draft a couple of players. We can maybe use them in trades later on. Uh, you know, like I really want to try to go for Anthony Davis, but I don't think he's gonna come here. So I'm gonna get Vernon Carey to start this off, and then for the 26 overall pick, we're gonna get uh robert woodard or what do we want patrick williams i think i'll take patrick williams just to change it up a little bit and uh welcome to the team both of you both 74 overalls player options drummond declines mccray will bring back and i won't worry about Albert nader so how much money do we actually have is the question scowl dorts i know is good you know have been great for the thunder in real life but i don't think i'm gonna bring him back for this video just because his overall is so bad it's not really gonna help us uh win championships right away so negative 53 million dollars in cast base so yeah obviously we were to renounce like all these guys let's see that's probably not gonna give us enough i don't think in order to get those guys a 40 30 that actually might get us a decent little bag to throw out anthony davis can we throw a bag at him I think we can okay hold on i gotta uh, i gotta throw him a bag on him i don't know if i'm gonna get it get him but that would be awesome if we could uh if not i'll just get drumming back i guess but ad would be the first major step oh man okay we're his fourth best option dang it man it sucks so bad uh three years yeah i offered him kind of not very good uh, did i okay so i guess we'll just get drumming back honestly i think that's like the only thing we can really do he wants a bag man he really does but he was pretty good for us so i guess i'll you know sign him anyway We'll get Andre Drummond, and then we'll probably... Wait, did Anthony Davis? Yes, he did accept. Okay, let's see if Anthony Davis fall... No, he's not going to fall out, is he? Okay, so we got Chris Paul, Dennis Schroeder. That's fine right now. Shooting guard, Shea, and uh, Jordan McRae works out fine. OG at small forward is great. Zach Collins is our power forward right now, and Vernon Carey. So obviously, we want to upgrade that if we can. So what I'm going to do is offer Vernon Carey and Zach Collins, and let's see what power... Tobias Harris already and Matisse Thibel. I like that trade a lot already. Let's keep looking just in case. Bull Bull, man. He becomes a beast, honestly. I think we might have to get Bull Bull. I think we might have to get the bird rights on him. And that way we can sign him. And this is just going to be a move for later on. But Bull Bull becomes so good in this game. It's not even funny. So I'm going to go ahead and get him. And then uh, Bull Bull, we're going to move to power forward. I think he's on a two-way though. So I don't know if he'll play for us this season. But that's all right. So we got Shea, Jordan McRae, OG, Bull Bull, Jeremy Grant, and then we just need Drummond back, and honestly, we should be all set. So, and I'll offer Sergi Baca probably to get a con. Ooh, he want he got some offers out there. Uh, I'll offer him a one year deal, and then if he comes here, he he comes here. But if not, we'll just leave him. Yeah, I mean that's fine. I wasn't gonna want to pay him that much money. He went to the Kings for like twenty mil for four years. Good luck to you, Sacramento. And then we have bird rights on nobody else. Okay, what can we afford out here? John Livingston, can we get a good center? Taj Gibson. You want to come back to Oklahoma City for a little bit. You were here for like half a season, but now you're back. So we get Taj Gibson to be our backup center, I guess, because uh, we don't have any other option, honestly. So uh, for now, though, when we look at the team, Chris Paul, Dennis Schroeder, Shea, and Jordan McRae, OG, Bull Bull, Jeremy Grant, and Andre Drummond, Taj Gibson. So yeah, there's still moves to be made. I might stop at the trade deadline to make a like a really good move if need be. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and still went to the end of season number two, and hopefully we can have a good enough season like we did last year. Although it's still going to suck because Kawhi and Paul George will still be there. So we got to make this team better if possible. End of season number two, Shea Gilgis Alexander comes out as the most improved player. Good for him. So now we're going to go into the second season of the playoffs. And hopefully, guys, we can win a championship this time around. It's still going to be tough. We are the first seed in the West, though, which is awesome. I did make one trade the trade deadline if I can find it. I traded Patrick Williams, Taj Gibson for a better backup center and Kevon Looney and Damian Lee. So Kevon Looney was a better backup center because Taj Gibson just wasn't doing it for me. So uh, yeah, like I said, we went 53 and 29. Let's go look at the player stats real quick and see what happened there. 21 points from Dennis Schroeder, 19 and 10 from Chris Paul and 18 from Bobo. Bo. I told you guys, this guy is a cheat code. So glad I got him. And we're, we're going to have to see how these playoffs go, man. We got the Portland Trailblazers in the first round. Let's simulate current round against them and see what happens. We're up 1-0 on the Blazers. Up 2-0. Can we beat them? 3-0, please. Can we sweep them? And nope, 3-1. The Jazz are about to beat the Clippers. That would be awesome if they could do that for us. And they do. So that's going to be an easier matchup, I feel like. But I guess I'll uh, show the rotation real quick. Chris Paul, Shea. OG and Anobi, Bol Bol, Drummond, Schroeder, Kevon Looney, Jeremy Grant, and Scala Bissier, and then uh, Jordan McRae and Damian Lear down here. So hopefully, guys, we can get past the Utah Jazz. We got eliminated in the second round last year, but thankfully, the Jazz were able to beat the Clippers for us. Do the Jazz have anybody crazy? Uh, they have 
Donovan Mitchell, Gobert, Mike Conley. So yeah, oh, I guess they drafted James Wiseman. I'm sure he's probably their sixth man, Jer Jeremy Lamb as well. So let's see if we can beat the Utah Jazz. We're up 1-0 to start the series, up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0? We do. Can we sweep them? We do. We are in the Western Conference Finals, but we got to play the other LT LA team and the Los Angeles Lakers. Can we beat the Lakers? Let's see what happens. We're up 1-0 to start, 2-0. 2-1, can we please get this done? Three, no. 3-1, three, 3-2, one, three, game seven, man. Gosh dang it, I thought we were so close to getting to the NBA Finals, man. We gotta do this, please, 2K. Let me win here, and let's make it to the NBA Finals. And we're gonna lose in game seven, aren't we? We're gonna lose in game seven. Oh my gosh, we were so close to the NBA Finals, and we lose. You gotta be kidding me. All right, man. Thankfully, the LA teams are going to get a little bit worse. I got to try to sign Kawhi or Paul George. I think I'm going to try to get Kawhi Leonard if I can. I'm going to free up, have to free up money, though, in order to do that. So, Because uh, we need a max player to come help us out a little bit more. But I'm not sure how much money we're really going to have. So it might be unrealistic to assume we can get that. We have the 18th pick via Portland Trailblazers, which is a 26 pick. And I think that's about it. I think that's all we got. So staff signing, Greg Popovich, we're gonna keep around, of course, and then we'll try to get Trent Peterson back. We can, and uh, let's get a good trainer. We can, and he's tentative, and he rejected our offer. So we're gonna get a terrible trainer, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So uh, we might not even get this guy. Okay, we did. All right, so let's go to the draft, and we have the 18th and the 26th pick. So we need to try to, let's see, 18 and 26. We have like nobody under contract right now. Okay, let's go to rookie signing and uh, just let them draft somebody because they're probably not gonna be a huge part of this team. Chris Paul accepts his option, of course. Shea, we're gonna bring back. And then uh, qualifying offers, OG and Anobi. We have a ton of free agents to bring back. So Bull Bull and OG are guys I do wanna bring back if we can. But I'm definitely curious to how much cap space we're about to have. Like how much can we offer to somebody? Drummond, we might have to trade for a cheaper center, honestly, to give us that uh, option to go for, like acquire a Paul George, because uh, we need 26 mil. So I definitely want Kawhi Leonard if I can get him, just because he's always going around giving people championships. So Drummond, I'm gonna have to get a cheaper center for you, my man, or I can just, hopefully I can just like dump you somewhere and get cap space, honestly, because that's kind of what I want to do here. Mitchell Robinson, Marquise Chris. Ooh, they gotta, I gotta give up Dennis Schroeder. But if I can get Mitchell Robinson, man, honestly, that might be the move and i think we could probably get this done deandre russell but we really don't need a point guard because chris paul does his thing man he's fine so can i squeeze can we just do this straight up uh mitch robinson for andre drummond no dj carton Derek jones i'm cool with this we'll do this all right so mitch robinson's gonna be so much cheaper than andre drummond we gotta flip Derek jones jr right away though so can we just get like a a pick for you cody martin let's see can i get a pick all right cool so we got Cap space right now, I think, or cap space now to, I think, sign Kawhi Leonard. So we're going to give him a contract. We're also going to give Paul George a contract because we need guys like that to come help us win a championship. Bring Paul George back to OKC if we can. Probably going to have to renounce quite a bit of people to get this done, but I'm so cool with it. So hopefully get one of them. Uh, we don't get Kawhi, but get Paul George. So I guess that's all right. So uh, we can, uh, we'll do this. So yeah, we're going to renounce probably quite a bit of these people. So if we can secure Paul George, that'd be great. Kawhi goes to Utah, which is weird, but Paul George definitely will help us out and then i still want bull bull back does he have any offers yet uh we don't even have his bird rights do we okay he is a restricted free agent though i'm um, just making sure i'm not renouncing him and we're not okay i think he asked for like a ton of money though so that's probably why he hasn't gotten an offer yet and og has no offers either so definitely want him if i can I, I have to renounce him though so never mind i don't think i can do that so paul george welcome back to oklahoma city and Kawhi fell out are you kidding me Oh my gosh, that's such an L. That's such an L. Oh well, we got Paul George, that's fine, whatever. So Kawhi fell out, which sucks. Now we got Paul George. Uh, it's not like it's terrible, don't get me wrong. It's just like, really? Like you couldn't have fell out earlier? So we got Chris Paul, Dennis Schroeder, Shea, Paul George, uh, Mitch Robinson. So we need Bull Bull back and we need to get like a good uh, bench. And honestly, we should be good. So I'm gonna get Jalen Suggs in a first and let's trade him. Plumley, that's already a good backup center. Can we uh, get something better? Jalen Noel, Marcus Gasol is going to, I'm going to get this. Oh, that's two first round picks. Oh, you know what? I don't even care. I just want a backup center and that's fine. So honestly, I think this team could be good uh, winning the championship. So let's get Bull Bull as well back. Where is, does he have an offer yet? Do I have bird rights on anyone? No. So I lost like bird rights on everybody, but we can, looks like we can uh, sign a mid-level exception. Can we get Doug McDermott? Come be our backup small forward. We can. And then uh, honestly, hopefully we just get Bull Bull back on his, option and we have one two three four five uh six seven so we need like 
probably one more decent player jeremy grant we can get jeremy grant so that's probably gonna be our backup power forward if we can get him and then i'm so mad that Kawhi is still out here man that's so annoying i literally would have got him and uh he fell out and then we got paul george so it would have been kind of tough to dump paul george on somebody and then if i would have dumped paul george and then Kawhi still said no to me then it just would have been a major l bull bull is still here and he has three offers so yeah we're probably not gonna get him back that actually really sucks that really sucks that actually hurts a lot and he's gone now isn't he can i even uh let's see can i off no i can't man i can't i can't so we're probably gonna lose bowl bowl which really sucks honestly definitely wanted him back but it is what it is guys so i'm probably gonna have to roll with what we got right now but i think we're better and hopefully guys we can actually win a championship in this third season we're getting on track to doing it at least win one in this video would be great but let's see what happens we are in season number three as we went 52 and 30 with this newfound thunder team let's go over the stats 20 from Bobo led the way, 19 from, oh, by the way, Bobo actually got an offer and I was able to match it. So I guess like I should have known cause I never renounced his uh, player or his uh, restricted or whatever qualifying offer. So yeah, I got him back, which is awesome. That helped out a lot, but everybody else, 18 points, 17. So across the board, we are pretty good. Let's go look at the rotation real quick. Uh, Chris Paul, Shea, Paul George, Bull Bull, Mitch Robinson, Dennis Schroeder, Doug McDermott, Jeremy Grant, Mason Plumley, guys, can we, win this championship in season number three hopefully we can finally do it we got close last year we are facing the memphis grizzlies right now we're down 2-0 man come on all right 2-1 can we even it up we do please don't scare me like that ever again 2k we're up 3-2 all right can we beat them in six game seven and we do beat them in seven games oh my gosh almost had a heart attack so we get to play the lakers now uh we probably they probably have anthony davis and lebron james they beat us last year in the conference finals can we beat them this time around we're up 1-0 they even it up they're up 2-1. The Lakers are about to be our Achilles heel in this video, aren't they? They really freaking are. Gosh dang it, man. It's like I can never win, man. Never win in these challenges. Come on. All right. Oh my gosh, man. I'm not gonna be able to do I'm not gonna be able to win win a single championship again, am I? Wow. Okay. I think I'm gonna try one more time, simulate one more season. And if we can get at least one championship, just one. And then we'll keep, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but the Knicks end up winning the championship in six games. No, the Knicks do win the championship with Cole Anthony being the finals MVP, 31 points per game, man. All right, so I'm running, one, running back one more time with the same team. If we get eliminated, I, I'm giving up. We are in season number four. It is time to win this championship, guys. This is the final roster we have. Look at that, 490 overalls, 86, 86, 80, 80. I mean, this team is stacked, man. Can we at least win one championship for the video? Like, that would be great if we can at least win one. But let's go look at the player stats real quick and see how that looked and see who led the way. I'm assuming Dennis, you have Dennis Schroeder with uh, 20 points, 19 from uh, Shea, and 18 and a half, 17 and 17. I really still wish we would have gotten Kawhi Leonard. I think that would have been, like, a great for us. But now we can play the Houston Rockets in the first round. Let's go see what happens here. We have 1-0 on the Rockets. Uh, they even it up. Can we beat them? They're up 2-1. If we lose in the first round, I'm done. I'm completely done. I'm I'm moving on with my life, my life today. All right. We beat them in six games. Now we get to play the Dallas Mavericks. So we don't have to play the Lakers this time, but Dallas jumps up 1-0 on us. We're up 2-1 on the Mavericks, 3-1, and we beat them in five games. And now we get to play Kawhi Leonard and the Utah Jazz. And this isn't going to be good, is it? See, Donovan Mitchell. Oh, wait. Kawhi didn't go to Utah. I thought he did. He must have went somewhere else. Okay. I don't have to worry about Kawhi right now. I bet Kawhi's in New York, honestly. Uh, okay, we're down 2-0, 2-1, 3-1, and we're gonna lose, aren't we? Boys, I'm done with this video. Thank you guys for watching, I'm out.